All right, welcome to another episode of Clear Light Connections, where we talk to the people behind the businesses of Bay Area Houston. We are proudly sponsored by UTMB Health. Uh, on today's episode, I have Alice McCullough with Fully Promoted. Yep. Welcome to the show. Uh, tell me how you got into, well, first of all, describe what Fully Promoted is, the concept, and then we'll talk about how you got into it. Okay. Well, Fully Promoted, uh, a lot of people in the area may know it formerly as Embroid Me. But about five to seven years ago, uh, corporate went and shifted. It went from being a B2C to a B2B business. So what we do is we work with businesses in the area and in fact across the country. I have several clients where I do online stores and deliver across the country, branded apparel, promotional products, printed marketing materials, trade show swag, trade show displays, anything you can think of to put your brand on, we can do it. And so. Tell me, tell me why you think that's so important. Uh, obviously, I'm wearing a shirt for my you know, business, but why do you think it's so important? There are a lot of different reasons why it's important, and uh, it can differ from industry to industry. But I mean, have you ever driven around and seen a tattered up old van with you know, kind of a, excuse my language, crappy sign on the side for a painter? Mm -hmm. And you're thinking, uh, no, I'm not letting you in my house or you know the ac guy comes to your house or the plumber comes to your house and he is wearing a tattered old t-shirt that doesn't have anything on it and in this day and age you're kind of like hmm, do i really want to let this guy into my house that kind of thing so it really just kind of presents your team as a team it presents them professionally if you've got a brick and mortar location it makes it easier for your clients to find who, the staff find out who's working there ask questions get what they need uh, for the healthcare industry, which is where a lot of my background was, uh, you know, you're dealing with people who really aren't in their best state of mind. They're, they're groggy from painkillers or having been sick. And, you know, the hospitals I used to work with, we had color coding for the, sh the scrubs. So you knew if someone coming in in the blue, that was generally a surgeon. Someone coming in in the pink was going to be a nurse. Uh, it's just there's a lot that branding, not just branded apparel, but promotional products can do. I mean, promotional products actually gives you a much bigger bang for your buck than your standard advertising. You know, I mean, someone's going to keep a pen or a mug uh, for up to 24 months. And I don't care how good you are on TikTok. That's not going to stick around that long. Yeah, and, and I'm glad you mentioned pens. I, I love going to a restaurant and seeing somebody, the, the waiter or waitress using our pen. I, I, I love that, and, and it's a great opportunity and a great, uh, it, it's, a, it's a way to always have your name out there. Exactly, and that's, that's what you want, uh, is you want your name in front of your client, and a lot of times when they're making that buying decision. And the more they see your name, the more impressions they have, just, you know, it's, it's going to, enhance their recall of who you are and their brand and if it's quality product and it looks good that's just going to make that connection that hey these people are professional hey they know what they're doing mm -hmm. i think i'm going to call them so it's funny you mentioned swag because we just finished the new teachers luncheon and the teachers love the stuff in there they they love it w what are some of the hottest items going right now for for swag well, uh, in fact, I just sent a presentation off to one of the local hospitals. Uh, when you're talking about, say, employee appreciation, it's right now it's kind of the tech things or things that help them appreciate their downtime since so many of us have just come off a year of working at home and trying to be a parent, trying to be a teacher, trying to work, do all this stuff. It's appreciating that downtime. So things like uh, tech, we've got a great new product. It's, obviously a little pricey but they're they're headphones and you flip them out and they turn into wireless speakers hmm. or you know uh phone uh phone stands that serve as both a wireless speaker and a charging unit uh earbuds drinkware is always always a great great product people think oh well everyone's got one well yeah everyone's got one but they have multiple because they want multiple you know so the tumblers uh, you know, those are those are great things. Bags are always a good one. Wearables, hats. Everyone, lo I can't tell you how many hats my husband and I have together. It's just we should have a whole bedroom for our hats. Yeah, and you're right, wearables. Uh, I, I was surprised that we did a promotion and we were giving away T-shirts, mm -hmm. and I was really shocked at how people go for a T-shirt. I, I don't, but I, I was I was shocked. 
Oh, they love them. Uh, T-shirts, long sleeve T-shirts, hoodies. I mean, hoodies are a huge thing these days, particularly with the younger crowd, mm -hmm. millennials. Uh, you know, jackets, vests, all of that stuff is just, you know, and nowadays we can even do, I've got a pair of uh, shoes that have my logo on them. We can even do that. We can do bow ties. You know, we can do surgical caps. You name it. You can, can do it. Yeah, we can do it. So how'd you get into this business? Well, I've spent about 25, well, uh, I'm aging myself, 30 years. I started, believe it or not, I started working before the internet was was around. So yes, I'm dating myself, but I spent 30 plus years doing marketing and promotions, uh, brand management. Uh, since I've lived here in Texas, I did that for UTMB Methodist Hospital downtown. And so when I hit the age of 50, I decided that instead of banging my head against the wall for someone else, I was going to bang my head do against the wall yourself. for me. Yes. And I'm banging away on a daily basis, but I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> yeah. So t t at what moment do you realize, okay, it's time to start a business. I've been doing this long enough for somebody else. And I guess I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it, it, it's one of those things, I, I stupidly, I, I have my master's degree from UT, and I thought, oh, I understand P&Ls, I understand accounting, I understand bookkeeping. Yeah, what they're teaching you is really kind of at the esoteric level, the theoretical level, then when you get right down to it, it's like, oh, God, what did I get myself into? <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's when you've just decided that it's, you've had enough of the staff meetings and the let's come up with an excuse why we're doing this in the corporate world doesn't support our goal doesn't yeah, yeah. you know it's it's just you just get to that point and some people never never will and that's great too um yeah so on the podcast we've had several stories where somebody's working in corporate america and then they you know they start their own business it seems like some of them ease into it and they do both for a while yep or they just say, no, 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 I'm all in from the very get-go, and they, they started up. Which, which of those two did you do? Um, I think I kind of was this, the latter of the two. So I kind of, I think in my situation, I almost had the universe speaking to me. So when I drove to work, the old embroid me that was here in Webster was located over by um, the the movie theater. Mm -hmm. um, and I would drive, I'd get on the, you know, expressway or, you know, interstate and I'd, I'd see it and I kind of, you know, was stalking them online behind the scenes. I was like, oh, they're doing promo products. They're doing branding. No, no, no. Oh, that's great. Well, at the same time, I happened to answer an ad that just said business available, not far from NASA. No, 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 no. Well, when I called it, it turned out to be that business that embroidered me. That owner was looking to sell. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm not one of those people that believes in, you know, kind of divine intervention, but I was kind of like, Ooh, I, I think maybe, maybe someone's trying to tell me something. And so I just, I took the leap of faith. Um, it ended up she had some issues with what she was doing so we ended up just starting a whole new franchise because it is a franchise what i have is a franchise and we literally have eight or nine we just opened uh just one just opened up over in sugarland today uh in fact so we've got them all over houston but i'm the only one down here in this area so tell me about the advantages of going the franchise route the advantages of going the franchise route are some are it, it, you've got someone to fall back on. You've got someone when my POS system goes down, I've got, I can send in a support ticket to the corporate office and they're gonna get back to me. They're gonna help me through mm -hmm. it. Uh, for an industry like mine where price points and quality and selection are such a huge part of what we do, it's not just me that's dealing with vendors across the country it's the whole franchise and so we have buying power with all the major vendors across the country and in fact around the world and we we're just able to get better quality better price um, i'm able to call you know right now with inventory levels at historically low um, issues with shipping issues with you know manufacturers having issues with labor I'm able to call the vice president of a company and say, hey, look, I've got a client that really needs this. I know your your production time right now is 
three to four weeks, double what it normally is, is there anything you can do? And nine times out of 10, because I've got that clout of a franchise, I'm able to get what I need for my clients. So, so it's it's you've got a lot of support, a lot of backing. Exactly. Not only that, but I'm able to reach out to fully promoted, you know, franchise owners yeah. across the around the world. We have them in China, the UK, Australia, Mexico, and we're able to reach out and say, "Hey, I've, you know, give me some ideas on what on, um, you know, I've got a client that really needs some unique pieces or some unique ideas. What have you guys what have you guys done? And so it's really a collaborative effort between all of us. That's great because so. that's you know that's the power of having additional people to, like you said, bounce ideas off of. Exactly, exactly. And and you did mention it, and and everybody in the news has heard supply chain issues, supply chain issues. How bad have you seen it? How bad has it been? It's bad. Uh, what a lot of people don't really realize. So the ship that was stuck in the Suez Canal. I mean, literally, it was stuck for what less than two weeks physically mm -hmm. it was stuck for less than two weeks but what a lot of people don't realize is the ships that were stopped because of it those ships are carrying you know product and they're supplied for a very finite amount of time and when they're stuck like that they then have to pull into port and now they've got an unscheduled stop they've got all the international paperwork they've got to deal with it's you know it's just it's driving things crazy the five major ports over in china where yes i'm sorry to say the bulk of this stuff comes from uh you know three of them were closed down for mm -hmm. a period of time because of COVID, and then you have the manufacturers and the suppliers that were closed down last summer uh because of the mandates by their states they're trying to open back up and they can't get people hired so i, I one one of my vendors i called and I, and they said, look, it's going to take us 18 days to imprint these tote bags. I said, I said, all right, fine. Send them to me blank. It's going to take us 12 days to get them out of the warehouse. And I was like, what? Wow. Like, we don't, we're, we're so short staffed in the warehouse, we can't even ship blank product for two weeks. So it's just, it's, and it's going to get worse before it gets better. So one thing I've been telling all my clients, whether you're buying from me, uh, the whole Christmas in July thing is not a promotion. It's a call to action. If you want customer appreciation or client appreciation gifts, mm -hmm. uh, employee appreciation gifts, you need to be buying now. Trade shows, if you want swag for your bag, you need to be buying it now. It's just, it's, you're better to be safe than sorry. Yeah. You're better to buy it and have it on hand. Like we just, um, we rushed to get Texas EquiSearch. They were doing a big event uh, this weekend, and so we were rushing to get some stuff for them. We got it in, and they called, and they said Harris County has shut it down. So, you know, so you're better off to have it and hold on to it, maybe for a later event, than be sitting around going, "I wish I had." Yeah, and and I, I'm starting to see events start up again. So mm -hmm. if if you're not getting it now, you you might. Uh, show up empty-handed exactly you're you're gonna need it at some point so start on it now and and so have you noticed kind of an uptick in requests coming in uh, oh yes a absolutely i mean one of our one of our big clients it's um they're a manufacturer of non-lethal firearms and they um, have distributors across the country and so we have the online store for their distributors for their display um things tents tablecloths pop-up banners and they've just been coming in because they're doing a lot more of that stuff and so we're seeing orders come in almost daily for those well, so, awesome yeah. yeah so it's 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 always refreshing to hear how especially in this area people are buying into bay area things are getting better people are you know working people are getting back to doing the things that we, that we did before all of this so absolutely it's, it's, it's nice to hear that i don't know if it'll ever get back to absolutely normal but it's certainly getting back to a feeling of better yeah <laughs> you know it's uh, you know people are just people are tired of everything we've gone through over the past 19 months mm -hmm. and while we still all need to be cautious i'm the mother of a young child so i've got that kind of ee, with the school thing yeah, I think we all just need to be cautious, look out for each other, you know, and just and and get something other than uh, 
hand sanitizer as, as exactly. Schweig gifts. I think exactly. every, everybody's hand, got enough of yeah. that. But hand sanitizers are still good, so people still like those. But yeah, let's go with something different, yeah, you know? Let's, let's, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's all know we have enough of that. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, Alice, it's been a pleasure. Anything else you'd like to tell the audience before we part? No, just uh, give us a call or stop on by. We're in the shopping center with Half Price Books and stop on in and let's see how we can get you fully promoted. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Glidock Area Chamber of Commerce members and Bay Area Houston. If you're a business wanting to expand your customer base, give back to your community, think about the quality of life around Clear Lake Area, think about joining the Chamber. Go to clearlakearea.com for more information.